everyone, so today I'm going to do a Halloween decor tour. I'm just gonna show you around all the areas in my condo that I've decorated for Halloween and show you what I've done. So I know this is quite echoey because I'm in my front entryway, but look how cute. Okay, so I'll get to that in a second, but I'm gonna start with my front door. My front door isn't really all that exciting. I just have one thing. I have a wreath on my door from Target, and this would typically go on the outside of your door, but we're not allowed to have wreaths on the outside of our door in our building. Blair actually put one up and she had to take it down. So I just put it inside and I kind of like it inside anyway, because then I get to see it. And I just hung it on a command hook. So that's the front door. And then the only other thing I have over here is a pumpkin plug-in from Bath & Body Works. And I have a white one in my guest bathroom as well. I have these kind of sprinkled throughout the apartment. If you spin around, directly across from the front door is this section, which you just saw. And this light is here just to help light it up so you guys can see it better on camera. This is typically not here, obviously, but I love this section. So this is what you see first thing when you walk into my condo. If the door is open, you can see this from the hallway. This is my favorite section. I just think it is so, so cute. I have these keep out stickies that are actually window clings. They are for your window and they have completely stained my walls, which is terrible and oh, that was a bad decision, but I need to paint my condo still anyway. I haven't painted it since moving in and I keep meaning to. So these have like stained my walls in a nice red keep out, which is lovely. Right here is this little cat that I think is so cute because it has a little bat hanging off of its tail. That was my favorite part. And she's wearing little boots. And that is from Pier 1. You'll see I have lots of little decorative things from Pier 1 this year. And then this plate that holds candy is from Target. And it's actually quite substantial. It's like a big, heavy bowl, which is nice. I've been trying not to eat them. My favorite is the Snickers. So you won't see as many Snickers because I keep picking them out. But they're um, fall themed. So they have like little leaves and stuff on them. I have a bunch of black roses that I got from Target and they have glitter on them. And they just kind of look like dead roses. I don't know, I didn't really know what to do with them. So they're just kind of hanging out on here. I think it would be pretty to put them in a vase but I didn't really have one to put it in. So that's where they're hanging out for now. I have a feather boa, that's from Pier 1 and I actually purchased it to put on my little mannequin here. But I liked it better without the boa on. I just thought that it was nice to have the pearls because it kind of makes it look like a little house mum, like a little house mummy, get it? Then I have these little candies that are from Target, I think, creepy eyeballs and bloody bones. The creepy eyeballs are pretty legit looking. They look pretty scary because they're actually like around the size an eyeball would be, maybe a little smaller. But the bones are ridiculous. No one's bones are that small. I don't think there's a single bone in your whole body that's shaped quite like that, so that's kind of weird. In the back, I have this little cup that I got from Target with um, like a candy corn mix inside. It has the little pumpkins and the chocolate candy corn, and then it has just like the regular yellow ones too. And I actually only like the yellow ones. I don't like the pumpkins or the chocolate, so I keep picking through all the yellow ones out. So the yellow candy corn and the Snickers are dangerous to have around me. I should just get rid of all those because I'm not interested in the other candy and I won't eat them. And then my favorite piece of Halloween decoration out of my entire condo is this phone. And it's from Target and it's cute. It's an antique looking little haunted looking phone. But it wasn't until I picked it up that I just knew that I had to have it. Okay. I'm coming for you. <laughs> what the heck? And it says like a couple different things. Look behind you. <laughs> light up black gauze that is from, both of these are from Target. This one came with the lights already in it, the black one, and then I just put this one, this one was like separate. It's just a, just a gauze, I don't know, it was in the Halloween section, just to kind of layer to make this look nice. And then I have my little house mummy and she is wearing an apron that is from Pier 1. And she has a little cat because I have a cat and then she has a cat. And this cat lights up and it's also from Pier 1. The actual mannequin itself is from PB Teen. I normally have it up here, not decorated as a Halloween house mummy, but normally it's just dressed in pearls by itself. And then I put the pearls back on it because I thought it was 
kind of cute. The little apron has a spider on it. I thought that was cute. It has a little face and then it has a little button on its head, which is kind of funny. If you keep walking around the corner, you come into the main living area of my condo. And then down this hallway, I have my laundry room, my beauty filming room, and my guest bathroom. My guest bathroom has a few little Halloween decorations. I have a bat tissue box and a candle by Candles by Victoria, which is in the scent Monster Mash, which was part of her Halloween decoration or Halloween collection from last year. And it smells really nice. And then I have two hand towels that are from Target. And these actually came in sets of two, but they're from separate sets. So the pumpkin one has a matching one, which I have in my kitchen, which I'll show you in a second. And the black bird one came with one that had like a big owl face that I didn't like very much. So that's my backup one. And then I have a pumpkin soap from Pier 1 and some candy corn candles also from Pier 1. And then a Bath & Body Works plug-in in a fall scent. So those are all the things that I have in my guest bathroom for Halloween. Now I'm walking into the main living area of my condo and I really love the way it's turning out. It's obviously nowhere near done, but I just love the little changes that I've been making. This little area with the painting is new, so I'll show you that up close in a second. The only thing that I'm really not happy with is the area the TV is on right there, that wall, that section. But I mentioned that in my living room and kitchen tour that I did before and I am going to get that completely redone. So that's temporary and so is the little chair, this one. That was in my old apartment and it's just a placeholder until I can get a chair that I really love. But everything else that I've been doing, I absolutely adore in this condo. I'm so happy. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the Halloween type things that I have. I'm burning a fall candle. This is Pumpkin Caramel Latte by Bath & Body Works. This is my favorite one from last year and I was very excited that they brought it back. So I actually bought two of them and then I have a couple in Tennessee that I bought last year too as backups because it's my favorite one. And oh, I wanted to show you these. So this is what I'm wearing right now. It's Lincoln Park After Dark as the base with Wind Monkeys Fly as the glitter on the top. And I actually kind of dabbed the glitter on to make it more like to make it more thick and not just like brush it on because when I first put just a little bit on, it just kind of got the little glitters and not the big chunks. So I kind of dabbed the big chunks on and then used a top coat on top of that. But I love this combination and I just think that it's perfect for Halloween time. So I wanted to show you those. Okay, I have a few things in my kitchen. This little pumpkin rug is from Target. It's from last year and I just had it in my Halloween bin and I was so happy to see it again because it's cute. And then this little spider dish towel is new. It's from Pier 1 and I love the little ruffle. I just think it's so, so cute. I have a matching one actually on my oven as well, which I'll show you in a second. And then by my sink, I have three little things. I have a sweet clementine foaming hand um, hand wash from Bath & Body Works soap and then I have method dish soap in an orange color I needed a new one anyway I didn't just buy an orange one just because it was October but I needed a new one and I thought oh that's cute I'll get a matching one and then this little container that says eyeballs I thought this was like the cutest thing I've ever seen this is from Pier 1 and I died when I saw it and I decided I had to have it and it's absolutely ridiculous but I think it's kind of cute next to the sink like with the soap and dish soap because I think it's just kind of funny like why would you need an eyeball in a container? It's the strangest little thing. Over on the end I have a bottle of red wine that I have out just for decoration. I have a wine fridge right there but I brought this one out because I saw this little wine topper from Pottery Barn and I thought it was so cute. So this is just out as decoration and the little glass next to it is from Pier 1 and I have three more of them over there on my makeshift bar, which I will show you in a second. But this one was just the fourth one. I didn't have room for it over there and I thought it looked nice next to the bottle. I have another one of the spider dish towels on my oven and then over here I have a basket, a cute little basket with all of my fall Keurig cups. So I have Blonde Roast by Starbucks, which I love, and I have Vanilla as well. And these are actually like really pretty. Like if you have a K-cup display, look how pretty that is. It has a shimmery little top. I thought that was cute. Oh my goodness, I found a spooky nerds rope. It's like Halloween themed. It's just Halloween colors, but you guys know how I feel about my nerds rope. I'm kind of obsessed with these. And this is a Halloween one, so I haven't had it yet. It's like my little treat. And then I have chamomile tea, calming tea, apple cider, another blonde blend, because that's my favorite. And then this is chai tea latte. 
or just chai latte, I guess. So yeah, I normally don't have my K-cups out. I keep them in a cupboard because I actually don't like clutter on kitchen counters. I'm like really big about having everything put away except like things that I need out. I mean like my flying pig is obviously important enough that it needs to be out all the time. But most of the time I'd have this away, but I just thought it was like, I don't know, nice to have it out. And when friends come over, they can pick from the basket. And it's just, it has all sorts of fun. I think the only thing I'm missing is hot cocoa. And then underneath my stove, I have another little towel. This actually came in a pack with the other one that was in my guest bathroom, the white one with pumpkins. So those two came together. So that was everything for my kitchen. And now I'm gonna show you my little makeshift drink area over here. I don't know why, but this makes me so excited. I just love this so much. So the poison flask and this little martini shaker are from Target. And I think you can actually use them. I'm not planning to, I just have them for decorative purposes. And then I have two skull shot glasses also from Target. This tray is also from Target and it came in a pack with a black one and a smaller gray one. And I actually couldn't find any use for the gray one. So I just put it in my Halloween bin. Maybe next year I'll come up with something to do with it. The three wine glasses are the matching ones to the one in my kitchen next to the wine bottle. So they are from Pier 1 and they only had four in the whole store left. And I was only going to get two and then I thought, why get two? Chances are one is going to break at some point in the next few years. I feel like with these decorative wine glasses, they every now and then you'll have an accident and one will break. And it's so sad. So I didn't just want to have two because then I would only have one. So I bought all four. That's my logic when I go shopping. And then the last thing is this little Transylvania treasures. And I thought these were so cool because look how pretty. This is from Pier 1 and I just thought it was really pretty. I don't even really know what this thing is. It says Transylvania treasures, an easy brew without all of the bubble bubble toil and trouble. That's really cute. It's more for decoration than anything else, but the actual wine glasses I washed already. So those can be used when guests come over if they want. Side note, but I, this is not Halloween themed, but I just got these shears to put up on the window that leads out into my balcony and I think it's so pretty. And then I put these flowers in a floor vase that are from my other apartment that I had in my bedroom. They were only $12.99 from Bed Bath & Beyond and I have them hung on a pressure rod at the top. I have two of them. So I just thought that was such an inexpensive way to make this corner look so pretty. I could not be happier with how this corner looks in real life. It looks a little funny on camera because of the way the light's coming in. I normally have these blinds up. I have a really pretty view, but because of privacy reasons, you can kind of tell where I live when they're up. So I have the shades drawn. So it's kind of giving this weird stripey lighting into the, into the room, but you guys get the general idea. I just think it's very soft and romantic over there in that corner. There's a Mr. Paschettio on this chair. Hi, honey. Hi! Yeah, hi! What are you doing? Yeah, you're so funny! You love this chair, don't you? Okay, this is my table. And you guys have seen these. They were in my old apartment. This is one of the few things that Blair let me take from our old apartment. This, like, little setting. This is from Z Gallery. All of these pieces and the little decorative napkins. I just think they're really pretty. This isn't Halloween at all. This, in fact, is actually very, like, holiday looking. But that's good because it will kind of last me through the holidays, which is nice. I actually just got this table runner yesterday. It's from Z Gallery and the tag is still on it because I'm trying to decide whether I like it. I just put it on my table today and I think I do like it. It's interesting. So, oh, you guys were asking about my table because apparently people were very confused in my living room and kitchen tour about how my table works because it's mirrored on the bottom. It actually has these two mirrored base pieces and then it has this glass piece on the top. I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with this table. I think it's so pretty. And then in the middle, I have two candlesticks and some flowers in a vase and a little glittery candle that I got from Z Gallery yesterday. Moving on to this side of my condo. First, I'll start with this little corner because it's new. I didn't really know what to do with this corner. It's kind of an awkward corner and I just didn't have anything here for the longest time. I just didn't really know what to do with it. So I did this for now. It was kind of a temporary thing that turned into something that I really liked. So I just put a little rug down on the floor. Oh my goodness, you can see my little Halloween socks. 
so cute. The dresser I already had from my old apartment and it didn't really have a home in this apartment so I was actually going to put it in storage so I'm glad that I found a little spot for it. And then the top is made up with things that were on my bookcase in my old bedroom. So if you saw my old bedroom tour then you'll recognize everything. But I have my Paris painting from college. I have a candlestick and a flower and a cigar box purse. I think that's really pretty. And an owl candle and a little square silver box and a mirror with some birds. So that's this little corner. Not Halloween, I mean, I swear this is turning into just like a regular condo tour. This isn't even Halloween themed anymore, but whatever, I'm just going with it. So over here you have my two sofas and my table, and the table is Halloween decorated. I have a spiderweb tablecloth that's from Target that I actually bought for that table, but it wasn't big enough, so it ended up going on my coffee table. And then I have this thing from Pier One, but Pinecone already broke this one, which is really sad. So it has these three little hanging spiderweb things with some flickering faux candles inside, but this one got broken. Pinecone like chewed on it and somehow broke it and I can't fix it so it's just hanging haphazardly but that's fine. I have three decorative pumpkins. The black one and the orange one are from Pier 1 and this white one is from Z Gallery. It's from last year but they have them again this year and then I have a little raven. It has another flickering faux candle in it but these things do not last long because I just turned it on for the video and I've had it on a few other times when I've had guests over, but I haven't left them on and it's already dying. You can't even barely tell that it's even on. Pinecone loves knocking this bird off of this table. He doesn't mess with anything else really except the bird, well, and the spiderweb thing, but once he broke it, he left it alone. And his favorite place to nap is actually underneath this, which is kind of funny. I did get some new pillows and blankets for my sofa and since this is turning into an entire condo tour, I might as well show you. These sweater pillows are from Target and they're new. And then these are from Pier 1 and I've, I had them in my last tour, so you guys have seen them. This little blanket is from Ikea and I already had it, but this blanket is new. It's like super, super soft and it is from Z Gallery. And then on this couch, I have a Halloween boo pillow that is from Pottery Barn, I think. Pottery Barn or Z Gallery, I think Pottery Barn. And then these pillows are from West Elm, I already had them, and then this one's new. This is a cozy blanket and it has a really soft underside and I just got this from Pottery Barn. So it's new, and then I have a Harry Potter owl pillow that I just pulled out because I feel like it just goes well. So this lamp actually came with this light bulb and when I got it home, I noticed that it was just the worst lamp ever. I was like, I wanted to return the lamp. I know it's from Ikea, but it didn't work at all. It didn't give off any light. So I went to buy new light bulbs because I thought maybe the light bulb was kind of dim. And I made a joke to a friend. I was like, this must be a 10 watt light bulb. Like it doesn't give off any light. Turns out it's an 11 watt. Can you see that? 11 watts. What kind of light bulb only gives off 11 watts? I was just so appalled by this light bulb. So I have a 75 watt in there now, and it gives off a whole lot better light. So I actually don't have any light in this condo at night in this area. It didn't come with any light. So I'm gonna get recessed lights put in, but I haven't yet. So I just don't have any light over here. So now I have a lamp that actually works and it makes me very happy. Over here, I have a few more Halloween decorations. I didn't go crazy with this section because I'm just not extremely happy with this section. I think this is the part of my condo that needs the most work, but I did get a couple of things. This, I just couldn't pass up. She says, I'm too cute to spook, and it's a little cat, and she is from Pier 1, and I thought it actually looked nice next to the pink TV. They kind of balance each other well. I am gonna replace this TV to just a standard black one. I just haven't done it yet. So the pink isn't staying forever, but for now, she kind of matches it well. I have two movies that I got from Target. I watched Casper last night and it was so, so cute. I forgot how cute it was. Human Casper is swoon worthy and it is ridiculous that I have a crush on like I don't know, he was like 16 when they filmed it or 15. He is so cute. And then Hocus Pocus, which of course is just a classic Halloween movie, especially for me. I just have to watch it every year. This little haunted house is from Target. I think last year I had it in my bedroom. Behind that are two gold and black candlesticks. The candlestick holder is from Target. This one's crooked. And the actual candles are from Pier 1, and they're again the flickering ones. That one just wants to keep bending. And then a little pumpkin that my friend Katrina gave me. 
It's my only real pumpkin in my apartment right now, so I like it. I need to get a bookshelf to store all of the books that are on either side of my TV unit, but I don't have a bookshelf, so I don't have anywhere to put it, so they're living there. I have a lot of copies of my own book, Where Beauty Lies. Is that weird? This is what this little chair looks like, by the way. The chair and the pillow I had in my old bedroom, and I really haven't had anywhere to put it, so it's there, but it's gonna go into storage. It's not gonna stay there when I get an actual chair for that. But yeah, this is what this area looks like from this angle. And my bedroom is in through that bedroom, but I haven't done any decorating, and actually it's quite messy because I'm packing to go on a cruise, so all of my stuff's kind of out in there, so we're not gonna go in there today, but I will do a bedroom tour at some point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween decor tour and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment below with your favorite part of my tour or what you're doing for your own Halloween decor. And I will see you guys with my next video. Bye.